What's up, what's up, what's up? This is HC Express with another pro tip for my new dispatchers. I begin the question, can you dispatch and still work your nine to five? Let's go. All right, so can you dispatch and also work a nine to five? Well, straight to the point, yes, you can dispatch and work a nine to five. But first, you have to ask yourself a question. Do I have the freedom at my job to dispatch? Example, if you work at McDonald's and I come up and I'm trying to get a fry, it's going to be hard for you, you you whipping the fry and you, hey man, let, let me call you back. I, I, I got somebody. It's, it's going to be hard to, to do two jobs at one time. You feel me? If you work at Ross, you're on the cash register. I'm trying to check out, get the new polo. It's going to be hard for you to check me out and then, hey, let me hit you back. You know, it's just hard because you're in front of somebody. Now, if you work at McDonald's, if you work at Ross or a job like that at night, then you can dispatch. Why? Because when you dispatch, you have to dispatch in the morning. Typically, you want to be on the low boards at 7, 8 o'clock. It takes, uh, when you first start, it may take you an hour to book a load. Um, once you get, you know, used to it, it may take you 15, 30 minutes to book a load. You can also email as well. So, you can't be working, like I said, at a job that you might have to be on the cash register and then, you know, sneak to the back so you can book a load. That's going to get you in trouble with your manager. It's going to bring production down. So, no, you may not be able to dispatch and work your nine to five there. But if you like, if you work at night, you can because you're available in the morning to do your job at the house. Another job, if you work from home, I know a lot of people now are because of COVID are working at home. So you got the laptop up um, for customer service if that's what you do or whatever. You can also you know click right over to your dispatcher job. So that's something that you can do because nobody's watching you. You're able to do two things at one time. Um, to give you another example, I was a project manager in construction. So for my managers out there, you will be able to do this because I got my guys ready at six o'clock in the morning. And then I just went to my company truck. Nobody was bothering me. I had my laptop and I was able to book loads and email and make phone calls because I was a manager. Now, if one of my guys that worked under me, could he have done that? No. Because if I came around the corner too many times and I'm catching my guys on the phone, it's a problem now because production is down. Like, hey, why are you on the phone? See, that's the point that I brought earlier. You have to ask yourself, do you have the freedom at your job to dispatch? You know, like I said, if you're a manager, you have the freedom because you can go in your office. You can, you know, you know work around. I remember it was plenty of times I had to um, go to meetings. So I knew, OK, Monday, let me ground hard on Monday so I don't have to work as hard on Tuesday because that meeting I'm gonna be in front of people or stuff like that. So if you're a manager, you have the freedom to do what you um, wanna do and go places that if you're a worker, you probably can't do. So um, I hope this helps, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you gotta ask yourself this question. Do I have the freedom, you know, for a job? You know what I'm saying? If you do have the freedom, I'm telling you, you can do it. I did. I was, it was times that I was driving my truck. I remember driving from Atlanta to Texas and I had to pull over to book a load. But once again, I had that freedom to do that. So, um, this is HTC Express. I hope this helped the people out there. It's another pro tip and I'm out.